Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours Morning Prayer for Saturday, December 18. Let's go through the pages. Breviary, Volume 1, Hymn is 1034. Antiphon, 1035, Reading 330, Canticle 656. The Christian Prayer Book is Hymn 8. First antiphon is 916, reading 119691 for the canticle. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our God will come from Lebanon. He shall be as brilliant as the sun. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are true. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our God, God will, will come, come from, from Lebanon. Lebanon. He shall be as brilliant as the sun. May the Holy One from heaven come down like gentle rain. May the earth burst into blossom and bear the tender Savior. God of my fathers, Lord have of mercy, you who have made all things by your word, and in your wisdom have established them, to rule the creatures produced by you, to govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne, and reject me not from among your children, for I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, a man weak and short-lived, and lacking in comprehension of judgment and of loss. Indeed, though one be perfect among the sons of men, if wisdom who comes from you be not with him, he shall be held in no esteem. Now with you is wisdom who knows your works and was present, present when you made the world, who understands what is pleasing in your eyes and what is comfortable conformable with your commands. Send her forth from your holy heavens, and from your glorious throne dispatch her, that she may be with me and work with me, that I may know what is your pleasure. For she knows and understands all things, and will guide me discreetly in my affairs, and safeguard me by her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May Wisdom of God. Oh, may, may the, the Holy One, one from, from heaven come, come down like gentle rain. May, may the earth burst into blossom and bear the tender Savior. Amen. 
Israel, prepare yourself to meet the Lord, for He is coming. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim Him, all you peoples. Strong is His love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Israel, Israel prepare, prepare yourself, yourself to meet, meet the Lord, Lord for, for He is coming. coming. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. It is now the hour for you to wake from sleep, for our salvation is closer than when we first accepted the faith. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, St. Paul is urging us to put on the armor of light, to wake up. The time is near, salvation is coming. He is referring to the birth of Jesus Christ. And as we begin the fourth week of Advent, we celebrated the week of hope. We celebrated the week of faith, the joy, and now love. God, the essence of love, has given us his son to redeem us from sin. And so it's time for us to get out of the darkness, to put aside those things that keep us from being close to God, prepare ourselves through confession, through cleansing, through reflection, to better ourselves, that this Christmas day, as it approaches, that we would present ourselves as a gift to the infant Jesus. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light, light will, will come, come, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. The, the Lord, Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your the light, light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Let everything within you watch and wait for the Lord. Our God draws near. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, better forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let, Let everything, everything within you watch and wait for the, for the Lord. Lord. Our, Our God, God draws near. Yeah. To the Lord Jesus Christ, judge of the living and the dead, let us pray. Come, Come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord Jesus, you came to save sinners. Protect, Protect us in times, times of temptation. temptation. You will come in glory to be our judge, showing, showing us your power to save. 
Help us to keep the precepts of your law with the strength of the Spirit, and, and to, to look, look forward in love to your coming. You are praised throughout the ages in your mercy. Help us to love devoutly and temperately in this life as, as we, we wait in joyful hope for the revelation of your glory. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. All-powerful God, Renew us by the coming feast of your Son, and free us from our slavery to sin. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.